All right, folks, today's video is super interesting. We got a DIY Airy Trinity gimbal. So this is my glide cam combined with the Weeble S. And yes, if you're new to this, you might be thinking this is stupid, but it's not. Combining the two greatest tool that's, uh, that is out there, a glide cam and the Shoein Weeble S into one magnificent tool is just mind blowing. So guys, let's take a look at what this thing can do in this video. Here we go. All right, so here is the Weeble S Mini Trinity. Yes, and as you can see, it's a glide cam combined with the Shoein Weeble S. And it has already gotten a name. It is called the Mini T, thanks to James Matthews. But if you don't know how to use a glide cam, you can easily learn that, but there's some principles going into it. So before you start using this one, there's some basic things you have to make sure that it is balanced equally from one end to another. But once you have done that, you got a super steady tool where you can just ease in on things. Yeah, this just makes shooting with a gimbal so much more interesting. But first off, we have to say thanks to Josh from Momentum Production for showing us this thing in the first place. Yeah, I think it is great. So why should you have a system like this? Yes, because it just makes using a gimbal much more fun. The way you can put the gimbal into things and just the workflow of it is just much better. All right, but let's take a look at some of the footage that I shot with this so you can see how great of a tool this really is. Here we go. Let's take a closer look at this and I would recommend you take a light stand when you're gonna balance it because first you have to balance the gimbal then you have to balance the glide cam and you don't balance it as a normal glide cam where you have drop test two to three seconds going back to the upright position no this system you want it to be perfectly balanced when it is horizontal and you can see there's a little, little bit of wobbly goes up and down but I think this is perfect and you want this because then you can work with it up here and you have a nice balance point and now you can also spin the gimbal around super easily you can even go into low mode without bending down so there's so many ways you can use this that is much better than shooting with a normal gimbal. Just take a look here at the table, how I can easily just point it, point it the way I want to, and I can ease around, I can spin the gimbal like that. There are so many great things you can use this um, tool. And the good thing about this system is that it is not that heavy because you got it balanced. You got the same weight on each side, so it is not as heavy as a normal gimbal setup. And I can work with this for a long time. But of course, if you stand it out for a longer period of times, you will get worn out. But man, it's great. This is uh, my new favorite thing, the Mini T. Love it. And if you are familiar with a glide cam, this of course makes it much easier but i don't think you should be uh, scared about trying it out you can just buy a cheap steady cam or glide cam to test it out and if you like it all happy days but i will tell you one thing as a experienced glide cam user think this is the most innovative thing that has come out uh, yet but there's one thing we need now, we need one of the gimbal companies to make a dedicated gimbal for the glide cam. You don't need this height anymore, 
But that is another story. So guys, tell me what you think about it. Do you like it or not? Do you want to test it out? And of course, do you want to see more videos about it? Because I could just rubble about, about this thing for days. Yes, loving it. I will definitely use this one much more than just my gimbal. And tomorrow we are going on a real estate shoot. And I'm actually going to take this one because I think I can get some super interesting shots with this system. All right, so that is the DIY Airy Trinity. If you want to see more videos about the Weeble S, I got a full series of that. Go down in the link here and see that. As I said in my previous video, there is one more tool that makes this just even better. The Segway combining this one with the Segway, holy Moses, a whole new world just evolves around gimbals. But you can go back and see my video from last week about handheld shooting and how I use my S1, S1A trick and my uh, Segway to get great gimbal looking shots. All right, guys, that is it. That's the video, the Ari Trinity gimbal. And if you got any questions, just drop them down below and I will answer as good as I can. And of course, if this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe because it helps me build this channel. And all the other guys, thank you for being here. So there's only one thing to say, go out and make your own DIY Weeble S Mini Trinity. And shoot some dope videos, stay safe, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Thank you, bye.